Hey guys, so sorry I haven't made a video in a couple weeks. I've been busy, but I got some special announcements to make. If you look in the background, it kind of gives it away. And that's these bird spoke wheels. So this is what I want to tell you guys, and you should do yourself this favor. If you, if there's some sealant on there, if you have an opportunity and you have your own rims and you have your own hubs and you're just looking to get into bird spokes send them to them and have them build up a wheel set it's actually not that much more than having your local bike shop build a wheel set now of course you, you're not going to be getting um sap and spokes and and everything like that but if you look at the price of like the high-end um, CXR or high-end DT Swiss Revolution spokes these are yes they're more but when you factor in everything with the wheel build the price difference is not that much and I, I can't give you exact numbers but I can tell you what my wheel set cost right now for this one and after it was said and done um, it was around 600 and something so it wasn't quite the whole 700 they did um there there was a discount code for um mo and hannah and um i'm sure that code is still available you guys know the youtube channel mo and hannah they got a great channel and i, I like their content so anyway you know my content is is really focused more on hardtails single speeds gravel bikes and it it does seem lately like it's anti-e-bike and i'm not you guys i just i make personal choices to make things as hard for me as possible and i to me i felt like that's something i wanted to say i didn't mean to offend anybody by that last video um about choosing to earn my turn it was not intended to put down anybody else you do you I'm going to do me and let live and let live. So anyway, let's get back to the bike stuff because that's what I'm making YouTube videos for. And that's what I enjoy. I enjoy all this little niche thing on YouTube for those of you that like bike stuff and can dig into the details. I mean, you ask most of your coworkers, most people, they don't know the difference between the frame material, whether it's steel, tire, or carbon. They don't know different sizes whether you your handlebars are 780 or 810 or whatever your seat post how much drop your seat post dropper is it whether you run flats or you know, there's all these things that most people are not even going to think about so let's focus on what we like and this is what i like and that's what this channel is about so i went ahead and got the new hope pro 5 hubs i had the pro 4 i had no problems with them but I thought, why not go ahead and upgrade since I'm getting a new wheel set built up and Hope is really reasonably priced, um, a lot less than most high-end hubs. And you know how much I like Hope parts. I've, had, I've got their brakes, I've got their stems, I've got a lot of Hope bottom brackets, um, crank sets. I've used Hope parts for years and I've always thought they make really, really nice high-end parts. So I built it up with a Hope Pro 5 single speed specific hub. So when you get a single speed specific hub, you're gonna have less dish in your wheel and it's gonna make a little bit stronger wheel. Is it something you might notice? Probably not, but I just like, I just like it that way, so why not? I know I'm not gonna, I have plenty of wheel sets. I know I'm not gonna use this wheel set on a geared bike. So I went ahead and got the single speed specific wheel set for my single speeds and um, there'll be more to that coming later I went ahead and built it up with and I sent them these rims too with these Cromag phase 30s these were blown out and I got a great deal on them they were on sale so why not get some um, aluminum rims that I knew I've used these rims before they're an I 30 width and they're not that much heavier than carbon um, probably um, around 80 grams more weight than a carbon rim with i30 width but chromac does a really nice job making a light rim that's really strong 
and they offset not only is it asymmetrical but they also offset the the spoke holes to make it even stronger and when you combine that with a dishless um, wheel build it makes for a really significant strong wheel the front I didn't see a reason to change to the Pro 5 I kept the Pro 4 hub there's really not much changes in the rear they added more paw or they added more engagement they changed some things up with the with the seals and all that other stuff perhaps they changed the seals in the front I don't know but I rarely have ever had any issues with any front hub ever and I wanted to you know just all I really wanted was the rear technology and the rear upgrades with the Pro 5 so more to more on that later but I wanted to show you the wheel set recommend and I'm not sponsored by bird I get no discount from them get the Mo and Hanna discount um, that's and you go to Mo and Hanna's website where they talk about our YouTube channel where they talk about bird wheels I'll try to put that link in there um, one other thing I wanted to show you what I got and that's why I brought this out here was the new wolf tooth valve stems now they give you these extra parts they give you some extra valve cores they give you extra um, valve caps and they're really nice i was really amazed how nice it was with the extra um um inserts inside it actually makes it where depending on how your rim is it'll seat down in there and make sure you don't get a leak from inside it's got this um really nice where you could tighten that down nicely and nice and easy because it's not you know typical smooth and then let me show you on the front where the front is also a tool so when you take it off and all you do is flip it around and you know wolf tooth makes great tools that's your valve core remover so i really like that they've i i love wolf tooth stuff they really go out of their way to come up with some innovative stuff so i went ahead and splurged and got those to match the hubs and um, of course i have cush core in there these are the Terravel a-line tires 2.5 um, with an i30 rim i think 2.5 is about the ideal size 2.4 2.5 is to me the perfect tire width for an i30 rim and um, then i have the cush core inside and these are also i wanted to show you these are they're durable which i really don't want to mess up these rims there we go it's the durable compound this is an xc tire um, but this is a single this is a really not quite full xc race tire it's it's more of an xc type trail and then this is also a trail tire and then this is the terravel honcho one of you guys made a comment that i should get the honcho durable that the they've had the honcho um light and supple is not that reliable so i went ahead and put the durable on here and um, it was on sale and i got this actually the tires um from um the pro bikes the, the one the one that resells bikes um those they have they have great sales too and i i like that website so i wanted to show that and i'll take you out with the spin of course you know the i like endless kickass cogs this is endless kickass cog i figured since i'm going to go with a lighter wheel set i'll get to 23 i'll put the weight in my video coming up so let me take you out with a spin so you can hear that 108 points of engagement of those new hope pro 5 hubs and then i'll leave it at that 